I'm Jamie Hooper with Remax Crest and jamiehooper.com. And with the market around Greater Vancouver starting to slow down, I'm getting a lot of questions about if I'm running into any foreclosure properties and can I get people a, a deal on real estate. Today I'd like to talk about foreclosure properties, obtaining them, and why it may not be the greatest opportunity for you. So earlier today I heard uh, just on a radio station that foreclosures in British Columbia, or bankruptcies I should say in British Columbia, were up 20% last year, uh, being 2018. So I've also over the last little bit been getting a lot of questions from people about, gee, if you see any bankruptcy, bankruptcies, foreclosures, etc., please let me know because you know we're always looking for good deals. Well, it's human nature to want a good deal. We all love one, but let me explain now how the process works if a person is foreclosed upon. So let's say um, John Smith bought his house uh, 15 years ago uh, on the east side of Vancouver and he paid $500,000 for it 15 years ago. John put 10% down at the time, he put $50,000 down and he faithfully made all of his mortgage payments for the last 15 years. But then he got sick and he couldn't work anymore and his insurance didn't cover it and uh, he fell into foreclosure. So what happens now is John only owes about uh, 200000 left on his house and his house is now worth a million three. Well, the bank just can't come along and sell that property for whatever they feel like. They have to get in front of the court and get a judge to agree to how much they want to list the house for in that it is the actual market value of the home. So what happens is the, the bank gets in front of the judge, the judge... Uh, agrees to sell the home at the listed price. They, they agreed to list it at 1.349. So the next part is the listing realtor will list the home for sale. And when he when you get put an offer in on one of these houses, now here's where it becomes not such a great deal for buyers like they think it may be. So what happens now is the listing agent, after it's approved by the courts, will go and list the property for sale. After they have it listed for sale, let's say it's on the market three, four weeks and they get an offer, they first of all, the offer has to be subject free before you can take it to the courts. So you have to go through the time and the expense of making the offer, if you're the buyer, getting the offer accepted, and then doing a building inspection, paying any your bank any uh, appraisal fees or what they might have. So there is an expense involved, and then you have to wait for a court date for the court to approve prove it. The bank just can't sell it for whatever they want. They have to go back to court again and have a judge approve the sales figure. So let's assume just for sake of argument that the price was 1.3 million that you offered to pay for the home and the, the court uh, and the judge, or I should say the lending institution uh, accepted it sub, uh, subject to court approval. So now the court date will typically be, usually it's around two weeks away. Now the listing agent is going to continue continue to get calls on this property. So when he gets the calls, the answer the call will be uh, I have an accepted offer on this property. It is for 1.3 million and our court date is February 19th. Would you like to see it? The reason he's asking you if you would like to see it is because it's not a subject free offer. Anybody, and they're allowed to tell you how much the accepted offer is. You really don't want to be first person in on these situations. You want to wait till they've got an accepted offer, find out when the court date is, and then whoever wants to show up at court can show up there and make another offer, and you already know what the other offer is. So as a buyer, don't forget, you're getting into a multiple offer situation in a slow market. So I've been to court on several occasions where other buyers have shown up. There's been as, much as, as many as six or seven offers, and this was back in the 90s when the market is slow. So in closing, don't always think that you're going to get a good deal when you're involved in a foreclosure. Personally, I wouldn't even touch one myself because I've been through the process and I've seen how it works. There's really no deals. The court has to sell it for market value. If you enjoyed this video or find any value in it, please either comment, hit the thumbs up, or subscribe to our station. And uh, I'll look forward to talking to everyone again real soon.